I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a very interesting test question on second derivative. The question here is find the value of b so that the function f of x equals to square root of x plus 1 plus b over x has a point of inflection at x equals to 3. When we say point of inflection at x equals to 3, it really means that the second derivative at 3 is equal to 0, right? You can actually pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Let's begin with the function itself. f of x is equal to square root of x plus 1 plus b over x. 4 is the first derivative. First derivative is 1 over 2 square root of x plus 1, right? And here it will be b over x square with a negative sign and the second derivative will be uh, will apply the quotient rule square of this which is 4 times x plus 1 and uh, 0 for 1 then minus derivative of this function which is 2 times half and then 1 over square root of x plus 1 correct so that becomes the derivative of the first part and derivative of this will be minus 2 minus makes that positive x cube x minus 3 so bring it down okay so that gives you uh, minus 1 over we can bring it down so we have 4 times x plus 1 times square root of x plus 1 here we have plus 2b over x cube uh, okay now that is the second derivative what we are given here is that point of inflection is at x equals to 3 so that means second derivative at 3 is 0 so we can substitute this that should be equal to 0 so let's substitute x as 3 here so we get minus 1 over 4 times 3 plus 1 times square root of 3 plus 1 plus 2b over 3 cube. In this equation, we have only one unknown, which is b, so we can easily find b. So we can isolate and find b, right? So we can write here 2b over 3 cube, I mean, sorry, yeah, 3 cube is 27, x is 3, 3 cube is 27 equals to taking this term to the left side 1 over 4 times 4 so this becomes 4 times 4 3 plus 1 is 4 square root of 4 correct or we can say b is equals to 27 over 2 times 1 over that is 2 so let me write here as 4 times 4 times 2 square root of this correct so b is equals to uh, 27 over uh, 4 times 4 is 16 times 2 32 times 2 64 so we get b as equals to 27 over 64 so that is our answer that b should be equal to 27 over 64 for the point of inflection to be at x equals to 3 right so that is how we could actually solve such a question i hope that helps thanks and all the best.